In these problems, we're going to add or subtract U.S. measurements, and then when we give our final answer, we need to be sure it's in the simplest measurements possible. So let's see with the first example. Derry flew from Phoenix, Arizona to Asheville, North Carolina. On his outbound flight, he flew first to Atlanta, and that was a three hour and 35 minute flight, and then to Asheville, which was 45 minutes. So what was his total flying time? So we wanna take three hours and 35 minutes, and we wanna to add to that, and we can do it vertically, 45 minutes. So if we add those two quantities vertically, we obtain three hours and 80 minutes. However, 3 hours and 80 minutes, that's 3 hours plus 60 minutes plus 20 minutes, that's 80 minutes. But 60 minutes is 1 hour, so we have 3 hours plus 1 hour plus 20 minutes. That will give us 4 hours 20 minutes. So we can respond to the original question, Derry flew a total of 4 hours 20 minutes. In our next problem, we're asked to add 1 gallon 2 quarts to 3 gallons and 6 quarts. So let's write that again vertically. It says leave your final answer in gallons and quarts. So let's see how that's going to work. So if we add vertically, we have one gallon plus three gallons is four gallons. Six quarts plus two quarts is eight quarts. So let's see if we can rewrite that using some information. Let me break eight quarts into four quarts plus four quarts. And the reason I did that is because four quarts is one gallon. So there's a gallon. If I add those, I get six gallons, but it did say to leave the final answer in gallons and quarts. So technically that would be six gallons and zero quarts.